Hi, uh, hi guys. <laughs> hey John, how you doing? Uh, I'm John Otto from yeah. Actor Spaces. Um, Actor Spaces is a platform that celebrates all things television, film, theater, but most importantly, the actors within the industry as well. Mm -hmm. So just to start off, I just wanna say congratulations to you guys for you know this film, the shooting and finishing it off and it finally coming out. Yeah. How are you guys feeling? How are you guys preparing for the premiere? Oh, oh yeah. first of all, uh, what a beautiful smile and energy yeah. you have. <laughs> as soon as you sat down, I was like, like oh my goodness, I feel happy. Like, it's amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, um, yeah, I mean, uh, it's, it's crazy yeah. to think about the journey that we've been on Jeez. with this film and with Netflix as well. And I, I'm so looking forward to the premiere just mm -hmm. to experience what, you know, someone who's not been on our side is this watching, like experiencing yeah. the film, because we have context to like what happened behind the scenes and I'm seeing myself, not the character. And it's like, I want to see what someone yeah. who has no history of, you know, what we did there, how they experience the film. What are they going to laugh at? Yeah. What are they going to, you know, what are they going to gra like gasp at any point and yeah. be like, oh, no, oh, that was cool. Like, I I'm, I'm waiting for that. I just want to kind of be a fly on the wall in the cinema and just kind of see. That's actually exciting. I think uh, I didn't think of that. Because I generally don't like to like be in this space because I'm so nervous yeah. of, of all of that. And I think that is quite an exciting thing to see how people respond. Uh, but this journey has been so beautiful, mm. man. Like the whole journey, the people we've met, and not just within the cast and the crew, these amazing people like, you know, Stephanie Rasmus and like, not uh, like Lamini over here. Oh, it's not Hey, Nox, how you doing? Uh, but Madla Dube, like, you know, Elani Dark Decker and Michelle Musalakai, there's a Dusho Masha, there's such a great mm. cast great energy but then also the team from Netflix like the journey has been spectacular from them taking care of us in terms of media and pushing it they really take care of talent and that's very rare you know to really be appreciated as talent you want to sell I don't even feel like I'm selling the movie I'm because just enjoying yeah, it. I'm enjoying telling people like yo we did something really cool with this amazing company come check it out so yeah that's been that's awesome and you, what what would you say is your favorite mo moment in the film I don't even think I can give it. It's just, I don't think there's one favorite yeah. moment, but if, if we had to like, for me, it was always the like in between stuff, mm. in between the takes, yeah. especially with Knox there. <laughs> Knox would dance in between every single take and keeping the energy up and she would just be jiving there in the background <laughs> and be like, oh my goodness, how do you have so much energy still? <laughs> we are over here yeah. sweating, dripping, oiled up and everything and Knox is just like, I'm here guys. I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I have to agree with him. You know, it's so hard to say about our favorite point of the movie because it is sort of a movie with suspense and bills. So for us to kind of tell you like our favorite parts in the movie kind of give away a lot. Mm -hmm. But I think if anything to go, like he's saying, if the cost and crew energy is anything to go by, mm -hmm. you are going to find the entire movie an exhilarating journey from start to finish. You know, because you had so many great artists just pour their energy oh, into yes. them, like, let's go. See, Petrol. And Knox actually symbolizes the movie so well. High energy, a beautiful journey, just beautiful. And, I, and also the peak of South African ta uh, talent. And I think Nokolo Glamina also sort of encapsulates yeah. that as well. Yeah. And, you know, as we all know that this is a biopic, but it's not necessarily fully based on yeah. the actual events, right? Yeah. So in your preparation of getting these characters, um, is there any point that you match them to the actual, you know, Silverton trio. trio. And in what ways did you match them up to them? Oh, I'll, I'll take this one. I'll take this yeah. one. Uh, so we went to Ukpatla, like at their um, grave sites. Uh, the original Silverton trio. Uh, we changed the names on purpose, you know, just so we can just tell a, a story that represented everybody in that period. But when we went there, I remember one of the daughters said that, oh, my dad was a boxer. And when he passed on after this, uh, all the boxes, all the guys in his gym carried his caskets yeah. through the township. And I was like, whoa. And he said, you could just imagine all these big, strong men carrying this thing. So I was like, oh, that's how he looks like. And so I started crafting this boxer. This guy could have been a boxer if life was better, if, it was, you know, if, if he wasn't born in that system. So that, that fit a lot. And meeting these incredible people, seeing their graves there, and just asking permission to tell their story, mm. this trio, it's so, and I really, really encourage people to go research about the real event. And the ending is different to our film, a bit more brutal, to be honest with you. Yeah. And you know, Stefan, uh, your character is basically the turning point of this. He, he holds the plot in his hands. And he kind of had to be sly about how he's going through things. And also, he just went through a lot of emotional roller coasters, right? You know, with wife, killing, all these things. 
how did you debrief you know after just a long day of set of having to you know go through all of these character yeah your character's journey yeah so uh, what was lovely is that mandla was he's amazing he he really looks at us and you said this like he treats actors as a department and he gives us the space and the time to do everything and i remember one scene that was really tough for me at the end of it mandla came up to me and he just hugged me mm. he just came up to me and he just gave me the biggest he gives the best His hugs, hugs he ever. just gave me such a big hug mm. and at that moment tears just started streaming down my face yeah. and i let go of everything that i've been holding on you know the emotion that the character was feeling and everything and mandla was a, a big help yeah. with that just yeah. letting go of it you know once i step out once i take off the top the everything i'm i'm letting go i'm leaving it there on the on set and then when i come back mm. get back into it mm. that's awesome and you know what mm. what do you hope south africans get from this film after watching it well i i i hope that they they you know every character is dealing with the aspect of freedom what yeah. does freedom mean to them and i hope that people who watch this <clears throat> audience members start asking themselves what is freedom mm. what does freedom mean to them what does freedom mean to the people around me um and i i hope that that we can spark some form of conversation some dialogue discourse happening uh because that's essentially what mm. art does it creates conversation around a particular theme and yeah. the theme here is freedom yeah and for both of you guys what would you say is something that your character taught you throughout this journey about yourself as an actor about myself as an actor oh as an um not to be led by ego yes i think that's the biggest thing even as an actor as a person as a character um i do feel my character is a bit led led by ego i i have to sort of acknowledge that a little bit and he might not realize it and a lot of times people who are led by ego don't realize that but they make sweeping decisions that make have effects on great people and different people but you have to consider that you are just you're part of something you know we're all one consciousness and we need to respect that and I, i've really grown a, a great appreciation of being connected to such great consciousnesses you know even in this room so i definitely learned that and i'd like to thank calvin for just making me remember that i'm plugged into a great consciousness yeah yeah yeah, yeah and, and 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 to 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 um add to that is to you know for me it it was that that feeling of we are part of something mm. bigger you know the cause that we are fighting for mm. is not just the freedom for me but it's a freedom for the country it's yeah. a freedom for our people and and realizing that again you know through the the character's journey is that oh you know sometimes we do need to fight for those who don't have a voice yeah. you know we we have to fight for those who cannot pick up arms. Yeah. You know, we have to we have to do something. We have to freedom is a is not a right, it's a responsibility. And here we are taking the characters are taking responsibility for that freedom. Yeah. How smart is this guy? Yeah. I hate him. I mean, what's the price of freedom, right? Everything. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just okay, just one more request from you guys. Can you just say, you know, your name, surname, the character you're playing for? We are the cast of Civil Sin Siege and we love actor spaces. Rock and roll. Uh, yeah. Sure. So uh, my name is Stephen Erasmus. I play Aldo Erasmus in Civil Sin Siege. Yeah, my name is Tabo Rametti and I play Kevin Kumado in Civil Sin Siege and we, we are, are the, no, we are not the cast. We are missing Knox Knox. Knox. Lamini, she Lamini. plays Terra. Terra in Civil Sin Siege yeah. and uh, we love, love actor spaces. We love man. it. I mean Thank this man is out. beautiful right here. We yes, love actor spaces. Love Shout out. Shout out John Arthur and Ayanda. <laughs> Cheers, man. Thank you. Peace.